What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 17 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be talking about healing spots. And what I mean by that is, where do you go when all of your Pokemon have fainted? Like, when you black out. Um, there are two places that you go, and I'll talk about both of them. The first place is you go back to your home. And the second place is you go back to the Pokemon Center. It defaults to the home until you've visited a Pokemon Center. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. So, let's go and load up our game real fast. And I haven't edited anything about this yet, so what it will do is when you black out, it will take you to the default home in Pokemon Essentials. So let me lose this battle real quick. It's super easy if you want to force a loss. When you go into the battle, you can just hold control. That'll, that's what allows you to access a lot of debug stuff. Hold control and just go to run. And it says, you want to treat it as a win? No. Treat it as a loss? Yes. Cool. I've just lost. All my Pokemon have fainted. I'm blacked out. And I scurry home. And then it warps me back to the test map. So what happens when you black out is two things. It sets the switch starting over to true. And then it warps you to the map that you set as your home. So... Then it runs an auto run and then sets starting over to false. So let's change where our home is. It's actually super easy. So right now our home by default is the very, the player's house at the um, beginning of Pokemon Essentials. What you can do is go into your metadata.txt, which is in your PBS folder. And on line nine here, it says home equals 3758. The first number is the map ID. So map ID three, is the uh, player's house at the beginning. So we want to make that our, our house for our game. So let's scroll down, go to our house, right click and do map properties. And then you can see up here, ID 32. You can also see it in the bottom right, 32. So map 32 will be our house, 32. And then the next are the coordinates that you want the player to go to, you want them to spawn at. So seven and five, um, we want to go to the center of our house, I guess, which is 8 and 6. So that's pretty easy. Just change this to 8, change this to 6. And the last number is the direction the player is facing um, when they are teleported. I would say don't worry about this number. Just just worry about the, uh, the map ID and the coordinates that you warp to. Cool. So now, here's what happens. When we black out, we will be warped to our house. But the switch starting over will still be on. So we want to turn it off. So what I like to do is on this on this map, make a new event, and then do if the switch starting over is on, which is the, the very first switch, if starting over is on, auto run. And then we can put like some text here just to show that we've done it. You were sent back to your house. Cool. And then insert, control switches, starting over, off. If you don't set starting over to off, then it can create some really weird issues when you walk inside of a Pokemon Center. So definitely be sure to set starting over off. That's very important. So now if we play our game, what should happen is we'll fight the trainer, we'll black out, we'll lose, and then we'll warp back to our house that we've set, and then it will play the text saying, hey, you've been warped back to your house, and then it will turn the switch starting over off. So, let's show this off now. Let's battle this guy. He likes shorts. Cool. I uh, personally don't like shorts very much. I mean, I guess it all depends. If it's warm outside, they're comfy and easy to wear. Alright. So let's run. Treat it as a win? No. Treat it as a loss? Yes. We have just lost the battle again. We blacked out. I scurried home, protecting my Pokemon, and boom, I was sent back to my house, and now starting over is off. Cool. So that's basically how you handle being warped back to your home. Luckily, the second way, being sent back to a Pokemon Center, is even easier. Pokemon Centers are super easy. What they do, when you first interact with the Nurse Joy inside the Pokemon Center, it runs a script called kernel.pb set Pokemon Center. What that does is it sets the Pokemon Center that you've just used as the most recent Pokemon Center you visited. So that way, if you use teleport or something, this will be the most recent Pokemon Center that you've been to. 
What Set Pokemon Center also does is it sets your map that you transfer to when you black out to this map. And then, if you look at the second page of Nurse Joy, she has a starting over script also. So if starting over is on, she talks to you and restores your party to full health, and then she turns starting over off. Cool. So let's go talk to Nurse Joy in our Pokemon Center that we've set, and uh, then black out, and then see where we're warped. Go into our Pokemon Center. Welcome to the Pokemon Center, yes. And even if you choose not to heal your Pokemon, just the act of talking to her it will set your Pokemon Center. That script always runs. Cool. So now we can fight this guy one last time and black out. I love this battle theme. All right. And also I love the look of elite battle system. Looks so snazzy. All right, run away. Oh shoot, I wasn't holding control. Run away. As a win? No. As a loss? Yes. All right, we have lost. Now we will be warped back to the Pokemon Center and Nurse Joy will talk to us. I scurried to back to a Pokemon Center, protecting my fainted Pokemon. And here I am at the Pokemon Center I was just in. She heals them. Oh, and then the game crashes. All right, I found out what the issue was. It turns out the follow Pokemon were messing up with the Pokemon Center somehow. So I fixed it and I'll show you how uh, right after I lose this battle. Okay, cool. So essentially what the problem was is my Pokemon was empty and then it tried to draw from an empty pool and it caused the game to crash. So what you have to do is after you return to the Pokemon Center, turn follow Pokemon off. And then after she finishes healing all your Pokemon, turn follow Pokemon back on. And I'll show you how I did that. If you don't want to have Pokemon follow you in your game, don't worry about it then. It's, uh, it's not an issue. So essentially, now it turns back on again. Here's what I did. So on the second page, when starting over is on, the very first thing I do is script PB to toggle following Pokemon. What that does is it turns it off. And then at the very bottom, I reinitialize it, where I do script PB Pokemon follow five, where five is an empty event. I mean, it's the ID of this empty event here. Once again, if you don't have follow Pokemon, don't worry about it, your game won't crash. If you do have Pokemon follow you, then this is how you prevent your game from crashing. One last thing, if you ever want to change the text that appears when you black out, go to your script editor. It's in the script P field underscore field. And it's around the bottom <laughs> on line like 1729, 1737. Okay, so on line 1737, for example, here it says, blah, 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 scurried home. That's basically the player name. Scurried home, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. You can modify that so that it can have any message you want. Same with scurry to a Pokemon Center. You can change this that way instead of like on 1714. Scurry to a Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. You can just say scurried to a Pokemon Center. There we go. Apply. And I'll show that off and then I'll end the episode. So yeah, hopefully this episode helped you out. Um, this is kind of a shorter one, just a short little tutorial. This is very necessary for your game though. You don't want people playing it to uh, warp back to the uh, test maps from Pokemon Essentials. And uh, yeah, if you thought this was helpful, um, let me know. And if you thought it wasn't helpful, let me know as well. If you want to see more topics covered, be sure to leave a comment and be sure to subscribe. As well as follow me on Twitter and Twitch. I'm streaming a lot more lately. It's pretty cool. So let's see. I black out and it says, screw to a Pokemon Center. Oh, okay. I didn't use the text. Oh, I know what the problem is. So if you don't have follow Pokemon, the place where you edit this text is in P field underscore field. But if you do have follow Pokemon in the follow Pokemon script around line 1839 and uh, what 1862, 1864, that this is where it sets the script. So I've made it so that way when I'm going to a Pokemon Center, it'll say the player scurry to the Pokemon Center like a big dingus and then uh, scurried home whoopie doo, you know, blah, blah, blah. So. If you do have the follow Pokemon script, you have to be sure to set it there in the follow Pokemon script as well. If you don't have follow Pokemon, then just set it in P field underscore field. So now let's show it off. Everything should be working out. Everything should be totally good. And now I'll do my outro again, I guess. Thank you for watching. I hope that you, I hope this helped. Be sure to follow me, Twitch and Twitter, you know, all the yada yada, subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys.
Goodbye. After I lose this battle, of course. I'm holding control. Okay. Let's battle win now. Yes. So it should say I lost like a big dingus because I am a big dingus. It took me... Why, why did it take me a while to figure this out? Okay, like a big dingus. Okay, awesome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.